Hello, this is Michael Jones MJ Beers, and today I'll be doing a review on this bike lock. Alright, um, let's take a look at it. So this is exactly how I got it. I'm gonna snip it, snip it open. And I got something here. It's something. Alright. Okay. And right off the bat, this guy fell out. Um, I guess it wasn't in that well. Yep. Um, and let's take a look at it. CC Better, Expert Advice. And it's basically your combination. And I like this combination because um, that way you don't have to carry on the key. So that's kind of nice. So inside was this lock and the instructions. Let's talk about this piece here for a moment. So as you can see, there are two screws. They come with the uh, nuts in the back. And um, over here, I want to talk about it in a second. But this goes on your bike. So if you have a you know, thinner handlebar, handlebar situation, you might have to make these all the way tight until, you know, pushes in as much as you can, so that way, you know, it will be tight around here. If you have bigger uh, bars on your bike and you need to, you know, put it on anyway, um, take this out, I guess, and put it on. Even though this is kind of grippy, it's like a piece of rubber, be really good, but if, I guess if you need to, you can take it out, so that way you could fit it on your bike. Um, so that's kind of nice, and it'll go on your bike like this, and make sure you put it in a place where there's some space because the idea is that this now I'm not sure which way it's meant to clip in but I think it goes both ways yeah let me just check real quick yeah it goes both ways so that's pretty nice so like it will hold your lock just like this or I guess you could even put it upright I and mean, that's kind of weird but you know you can do that too so you can hold it on your bike so that way you know you don't have to worry about having it on your handlebars or stuff like that it'll always just be right there for you and it will, it's pretty tight, you know. I'm not able to just get it out. Um, we press this button, and it slides right out. So you can see the lock right in there. Alright. Now let's talk about this actual lock. Okay, here are the instructions how to use the bike lock. So let me first cut this guy open. Okay. Wow. This bike lock is tough, but... The zip ties holding it together are tough. All right. Ooh. Okay. Now let's take this guy off. Okay. Default password is zero 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 zero, and it has to be aimed at the arrow. So I'm guessing this is the arrow, right here. So, yeah. As you can see, there's the grooves. And it goes right in there, and um, you know it's pretty long, so you wouldn't have to really worry about it not being able to fit around stuff. And it's already pre-folded, so it's not going anywhere. Okay, so here's how to reset the password. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta set to the number, and the number is zero right now. Take it out. There's a little thing inside here. It says, turn counterclockwise to turn this way to reset. So we're turning this way. And while it's on zero, 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 let's change it to one, two, three, four... All right, now one thing that we're very clear about is that it should be neatly. And this is probably true with all combination locks when you're resetting. If it's not exactly in a row, then you're probably going to have trouble opening it later, at a later time. So yeah, make sure it's always straight. Once you do that, then, you know, it's not going to fit in, obviously, because side. Then you turn it back up, all right? And then you can put it back in. Do that. Now you can switch around the numbers and make sure it's locked. Turn to zero 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 zero. And it doesn't open or it shouldn't open. But once you put in one, two, three, four, five, which is the new code. You should hope that it opens, and it does. There you go. And if you want to reset it, you just do this again while it's on the right position, and um, you should be good to go. So, I don't know, it seems pretty high quality to me. The cabling inside here is uh, it's metal cabling. Um, obviously, if someone really is inclined to break into it, they probably will be able to, honestly. That's just the way things are. But, um, you know, it will be a deterrent, and it will, won't take 
you know, two seconds. It'll be a little bit longer. If someone has, you know, wire cutters or whatever, but, you know, it should last. I mean, I wasn't even able to cut, you know, I'm probably not going to be able to cut this, like, not in a million years with <laughs> scissors. But, um, you know, while, um, while I'm here, I just wanted to, you know, tell you about how I feel about it. Now, you know, it's always good to have one of these for your bike, but don't think it's, you know, it's a uh, hundred percent protection. You, um, you are pretty good off with this. And uh, I also like that it has this to, you know, to make sure that it, um, it is always going to be there. Uh, let's just see what else it says here. Extra love. Please lock it when you park the bicycle. All right. Will do. Um, anyway, make sure not to keep it unlocked when you actually are, you know, when you lock your bike, just, you know, switch it around, take everything and move it. I'm going to move it one notch so that way when I want to use it next, it'll be easier to use. But thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you and have a good day.